Hi, I'm Sean McGivern with Building and Property Maintenance, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. And today we're going to talk about some toilet maintenance. And we're going to dissect the toilet a little bit and then go over some install procedures as well. So first we're going to look at the bowl. Uh, in the bowl, it has a built-in P-trap here, which is what we just lined up there. The P-trap, again, it traps water in the bottom of the toilet to prevent gas backing up into your home. So the toilet is a permanent P-trap. Now on the toilet, the top portion of the toilet here, that's where the actual water flows back into the bowl. So you can see here from the tank forward, that water flows from the tank around the cylinder and then drops into the bowl and fills the bowl up for flushing. And that's the P-trap again that uh, prevents, that's how the water flows through the P-trap down into the waste system. Now the tank, this is the tank, this is the water reservoir where the water is actually held. If we look at this and flip this over at the bottom, we have the bolt location, we have the flush valve location, the other bolt location, and the fill valve location. Again, that's the fill valve or flush valve location, bolt location, and uh, fill valve location. Now if we look inside the tank, uh, we see some stamps there. There's a, a model number there always stamped inside the tank. So if you need to buy parts for it, you want to call or order parts via the manufacturer. You can also get some aftermarket products that are not made by the manufacturer as long as they fit that model number. And inside the tank too, you'll see a water line marking. That is where the tank is supposed to be filled up to after you flush it. Uh, the front version here, the front part here, is just where the handle is. This is a, a front lever flush handle, and also you have sides too. So this one is a front. You got to make sure you buy the right handle that uh, fits the front of the tank. Now we're looking at the tank itself. We're just looking at the bottom and the parts, um, all parts of the actual flush and fill valve. Okay, uh, we have the, the flush valve. We have the fill valve, we have the uh, toilet to, uh, to tank gasket, the flush handle, the two fastening screws or bolts that fasten the actual tank to the bowl. So first we have the flush valve. Uh, this is where water is dispersed when the flapper goes up and when the toilet flushes. Again, the, the flapper is pulled up by the uh, flush handle and the, uh, the toilet flushes. We have the gasket that goes onto the flush valve and it is the gasket goes inside the tank. It doesn't go below the tank, it goes inside the tank. In this example I'm showing you here, I'm putting the gasket inside the tank and I am reaching through and I'm going to pull the flush valve through the tank and get it ready to install. I want to make sure it's nice and square and seated well into the hole that is at the bottom of the tank. Then I'm going to slowly put the uh, nut on and tighten it by hand first and get it fairly tight by hand. You want to make sure you do not cross thread this. If you cross thread it, you're going to destroy the threads and you need a new flush valve. So be very careful when you're doing this process. And again, make sure it's secure. Now what I'm going to do is show you a small example. I'll just push the uh, flapper up and we're going to get a pair of wide mouth channel locks and get around the nut and we're going to secure the flush valve to the tank. Right now it is hand tightened. So what I'm going to do is get it a little more tightened by hand first. Then I'm going to grip it with my wide mouth channel locks, make sure I have a good wrench, and I'm going to turn this slowly and tighten it. And what I'm doing here is I want to fully seat that uh, rubber gasket inside the tank. I want to fully seat it and squash it so at that point or that joint where the flush valve contacts the tank does not leak. Now we're looking at the fill valve where the water is brought in from the water supply line and dispersed up the fill valve and fills up the tank. 
At the bottom of the fill valve, we have a rubber gasket. Of course, another rubber gasket here that seals off water leaks. That is to be inside the tank again, not outside. It goes inside the tank. This right here is, is an adjustment nut or adjustment screw. Clockwise gets you more water and fills the tank up more. Counterclockwise gives you less water. So think of a clock as it winds more time, more water, less time, less water. And that portion right here is the portion that goes through the tank as the water is brought up, it goes up the fill valve into the hose, and it actually is dispersed inside the uh, flush valve to fill the tank up. And there's our adjustments. That's the float ball. The float ball is as the water level comes up, the float ball comes up and stops the water from filling up the tank anymore. Now, what we've got here is the uh, gasket. That is the tank to bowl gasket, and that seals off the joint between the tank and the bowl. It has to be fully seated or compressed. When we do the install, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to place this gasket on the uh, external portion of the flush valve. And, and that's, it's going to be placed on there, and it's got to be placed on there properly. You need to make sure that that gasket is fully seated and installed properly. So I'm going to fit it around the actual nut and the exterior portion of the uh, uh, flush valve and push it on gently and make sure it's secure. Now that that's installed, we're going to go ahead and put in the fill valve. Again, the rubber gasket goes inside the tank. You don't see it anywhere on the outside. So it goes inside the tank. And I'm going to take the nut, making sure I don't cross thread it, and carefully Put it on by hand first and tighten it by hand first. Once we get it uh, past hand tight, we'll either get a crescent wrench or an adjustable channel lock. And you can see from the top view how this is going to go. The fill valve will disperse into the flush valve and fill the tank up. And again, I can make small adjustments to my water, the amount of water that goes inside my tank by turning my adjustment screw clockwise or counterclockwise. And that's the flushing motion. As I flush, push the handle down, it lifts the flapper up. We'll look, take a bottom view here again, and I see my fill valve, and I see my flush valve, and they're ready to be installed. What I'm going to do is, we're going to take a pair of crescent wrench, making sure I have a good wrench seat and I'm going to wrench on my fill valve slowly. We're dealing with porcelain here, so if we over tighten too much, we will crack and crush the porcelain. So make sure you have a good seat on your wrench. It's tightly fitted around the nut, and do controlled turns, half turns or quarter turns. Don't just grab the wrench and go to town. Do controlled turns on everything you do in plumbing. One of the methods I use is I keep my thumb on the adjustment knob, get it fully seated, tighten around the nut, and slowly and controlled turn, tighten that nut to get that uh, rubber gasket squashed inside so that will not leak. 